guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting and bringing to episode 7 and 8 of Horizon in the Middle of Nowhere. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 7 in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, honestly, do I think 20 of them are really going to rest Horizon in, like, one of these two episodes? No. I feel like they're probably going to wait at least until, like, 9 or 10. Maybe even, like, the last... Because it's 13 episodes for both shows. So, maybe in the last three episodes. This could be, like, planning from, like, episode 7 to 10. And then 11 to up 13 is when they're like, yeah, let's do our act. God, you are so pretty. I love you so much. <laughs> Ugh. Today has been a day from hell. So I ordered something. I ordered uh, the Persona dancing, like endless dancing thing for the PlayStation. Because I was like, hmm, $54 ain't that bad. I'd rather play, you know, that than $100, right? Right? So I got it today. And I was like, oh, I'm probably going to play it all day. And I open it up and my games weren't in there. They're supposed to be two physical copies and then um, a DLC for Persona 4 dancing. And all I got was like the folder of it, the disc with the art book together and a Spanish CD. So imagine literally after watching an anime, you know, you got to watch something else before the night is over. And you're like, oh my God. So... I got that sent back to Amazon. I'm getting a refund, thank God. Um, and depending on how much money I get back, and after calling my bank in a couple of days, I might end up going for that Nintendo Switch that I want. Maybe not this month, but probably at the beginning of next month, because I got to split my ish. But your girl was pissed today. Well, because the thing, you know, it went down last week and <laughs> uh. I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight after drinking this. It's only even 7.30, but, you know. Excuse me. I mean, seriously, are all of y'all going? Hold up. No, 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 no. Okay. There's like maybe what? Typically in a cat class, there's like maybe what? 24 students? Maybe 12 of y'all should go. Is that twenty? <laughs> Apparently, twenty was Izawa way, way, way before Izawa was even created in my hero. 
Well, you know, at least it was his butt. But not his... <laughs> not his dick. Because, you know, when it's your man's pride, like, mm, say goodbye to having kids. I mean, hold up. Do we really have to settle this with a fight? I mean, y'all can't do no rock, paper, scissors. Some what does bullying exist here? Um, I mean, we can't have an argument. No. Well, you know, that's it. That's game. I, I, I don't know what, you know, what's his face is going to do, but, um, that, what he said. Yeah, how'd you get dressed so quickly? I mean, how can you be so sure that Shadow can be able to do that? I'm still wondering what that cute little thing is going to do. Because this is like the what, the second time we've seen it. Because it was in episode one. But. Um, yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, because, you know, I was about to say, like, um, if they really destroy the shit out of this town, are they going to have to pay for repairs? I mean, because, you know, insurance, that, that's something that, you know, the school would have to, like, you know, talk about.
No. Sorry, I was thinking about something. I mean, in a way, like, as much as I want shit out of line, I mean, like, okay, I want to say this, like, every character, somewhat, not every single character that we've met currently, seems somewhat OP as heck, and eventually, like, so, I mean, I, like, I really do feel shit always gonna win, and then, but see, like, we didn't have to fight just to say, hey, and be like, fuck it, we just can't go to the horizon, nobody even fuck about what y'all think, we just gonna go ahead and do it, but, I get that. Sometimes you guys say fucking fight. Oh, he ain't hurt from that. No, 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 no. Because she don't got something up his sleeve. I mean, come on now. With money. Well, basically, you just got your butt kicked, so. Mm-hmm. Every single time I hear her talk, you know who she sounds like to me? If some of you remember when I did 100, uh, freaking Claire, I think that's her voice actress. I'm not 100% sure. I would literally have to, like, go and look, but it, she sounds very similar.
figures I would be watching too. See, I feel like he would maybe want his sister to possibly fight her, maybe. I don't know. Maybe the two, you know, lesbians possibly who are in a relationship. Excuse me. Mm, or maybe have the Indian do go against her. Ah, oh, yeah, that makes sense. She's so fucking cute. I love her. But let me guess, Suzu is the most badass character of this entire series, and she's OP as fuck. Because I'm guessing Suzu's the one that's voiced by Aoyuki. Yeah, that's her. Oh, the <laughs> No, because you wouldn't want that cute child to flat, uh, like, fall flat on her face. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, cause like, no, I mean, I would have laughed at first, but then I'm like, oh my god, you're so freaking cute. Like, are you okay? That's your dad. Why does he give me feel sorts? Oh my god, what was that one fucking monster from Teen Titans? Because that's what he gives me. I'm like, ugh, I don't like it.
Well, he changed his mind. Mm -hmm. See, of course Tony would do it. Who else would do it? You know, <laughs> he's dumb. Sometimes he's an airhead, a little bit, but he, he's likable. You're not serious, are you? Hold up. Boy? Boy. Child. I, I literally dead-ass thought that this boy would have been like, yeah, let's go, let's do this. I mean, especially with, uh, like, last week, how episode six and, uh, six and seven... Five and six, predominantly six ended. And the fact is that, you know, they were so close to each other, but he didn't have time to say anything to her. And I'm over here like, do it. Oh, and you don't want to see it right now? Like, you just want to give up? Like, what, what is that? But to me, that's quitter talk. Like, nah, bro. Get your, get your ass up and go see her and tell her how you truly feel about her. You love her, don't you? You know, let me say this. Kitty told me. <laughs> now for me, wouldn't, even though you know now for me, I'm telling you, don't really have that relationship. Saki so told me, wouldn't. <laughs> Freaking Inky wouldn't. Any character, when it comes to their supposed love interest, would not be like, yeah, um, I don't feel like saving them. Like, I, you know what? Honestly, I need Masa to kick his ass. Like, if Masa does not <laughs> kick his butt, or at least argue him down in this next episode, something about that, I'm just gonna be like, I don't know. Just, are you serious, right? I mean. He's got to be playing. I, I don't think he's 100% serious about that. Maybe like 50%. But I think this, you know, Maza needs to say something to him. Whether it's, in the end, they do end up fighting him. Like how um, Shiro did in the first round. And <laughs> Suzu in a way. But, I mean, I, I was like honestly thinking like, yeah, they're just they're going to think of a plan. As they said. In the following episode and be like, yeah, we're going to go, you know, start the cancel, save the princess, save the world, be done, bam, you know, like a Mario game or whatever. But no, I mean, I understand kind of why it could be in a way because he's in a rut and he feels like, oh, I, I think there's nothing else that we could really do for her. I'm not going to say like depression or anything, but you know how like sometimes I've seen it with other anime characters in the past with um, so many freaking shows that I've watched where in the beginning they are um, very passionate about saving the character and then maybe like halfway through whatever arc it is, uh, they <laughs> this typically happens because I'm trying to, because I think Bleach did this too. 
and, and no, because Ichigo didn't get depressed until like that very last arc. But uh, let's say you know the the whoever they're going against kicks their ass for the first time, and then the second time. After that first time, you know, our character kind of gets a little depressed and then next thing you know, spends about like a day or two, three days trying to be OP and then next thing you know, it's like, bam, I'm back. I'm coming to get my wife and, you know, A, kick your ass, maybe kill you and then, you know, take her home. That's it. I mean, it, it could be like that. I don't know. But I, I think because of the fact is Tony is so a little teeny tiny different from like any other male protagonist that I've seen who usually has to save the damsel in distress. I, I don't know. I, I could be wrong about him, though. But, I, I mean, I, I would have assumed that this kid would have been like, yeah, let's go. But, I mean, we ain't gonna know until the following episode. But for him to say that with the last few minutes of this episode, I don't know. I felt like th this dude did a complete 360 and was like, do I know this kid? Do I really know him? Is he really gonna save Horizon? Are we literally gonna have to wait until episodes, like, 9 or 10? To literally save Horizon. Is he going to be in this like. Mood for maybe two or three episodes. And then I'll be like okay no. Mood's over let's just go. I don't know. But go ahead and pause the video. And I will see you guys in one second for episode 8. Okay. Episode 8 in 3. 2. 1. Go. Okay. Alright. <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna show this again. I, I mean, I don't want to see this again. Like, boy, y your your mission. If you choose to accept it, but technically you already have accepted that mission, is to save her and to tell her how you feel. No comment right now. <laughs> but thank God. like They're going. They're going to do it. They're going to save her. But probably not in this episode either. Maybe 9 or 10. 11, 12, or 13. Because I think I'm probably going to have to do the same thing that I'm currently doing with Symphogear, which will be doing 11, 12, or 13. I'm, no. Actually, no, 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 I'll be good because of the fact is I won't have to do that until I get into season two. Season one will be fine because of the fact is 13 and 14 can go together. Yeah. Because for a moment, I forgot this show has two seasons. You better hug the shit out of her when they finally get to meet again. I swear to God, like, no. Boy. <laughs>
True. I mean, but no matter what, people usually always die in a war anyway, but... Uh, exactly. Yes. <laughs> yes, so basically, it's damned if you do, damned if you don't. If you save her, people are going to die. If you don't save her, people are going to die. Oh, okay. I was like, um... <laughs> That was cute, though.
I hope so. Well, of course. She, I mean, yeah, we understand that the Ishta happened in five and six, but in a way, she's still an innocent bystander. She didn't know anything, no. I mean, it's the right thing to do. But she, oh my God. <laughs> Him, possibly. Or in these dreams.
Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> Now's not the time. You just to stay over there. Mm -hmm. You know, go with dude from my first girlfriend is a gal. Go, go, yeah, go hang out with him and then go to jail. <laughs> because I felt like he posted it. Yeah. Oh, I also think that like any one of these kids right here could also possibly die. Think about that.
There's always one. Yeah. Y'all gonna end in a really awkward cliffhanger, aren't you? Because we got two minutes left. It just seems like with two minutes left, there's no way in hell you can just be like, yeah, we're in the episode like this. Mm -hmm. Don't take her. I wasn't thinking Honda would have made it in this episode, but okay. I'm cool with that. That's all right. I just gotta wait until tomorrow to go ahead and watch the next episode and figure out what the hell is going to happen next. Okay, I wasn't expecting during this debate that I had watched um, that he would have literally had Masa's secret like told to everybody. But I kind of, in a way, that debate I, I thought of it a little bit kind of like a. Uh, presidential debate or any typical debate like maybe for school or whatever when a kid who you're going against usually finds out like some dirt on you and during that debate <clears throat> uses it as strategy for the other for their side and the next thing you know you're mostly explaining like what this meant what that meant the good and bad things that you did whether if you uh i don't want to say like took some nudes or whatever, things, things like that. I don't know. I mean, but you got to think about debates and like whether you're running for mayor, president or whatever, there are always going to be people, good and bad, who are going to want to plant things on you. Whether it's, you know, Masa's secret about the fact is that, yeah, she was a she and now he's a he or anything. Someone has a drinking problem. Someone could be, you know, using like illegal drugs, things like that, and that's what it kind of felt like in a way. It's like, yes, let's ha let's show like this secret that she has, he, and just expose it to everyone and make her image, his image, look bad in a way. Because I mean, he's such a really adorable character to me. I've loved him since episode one, and it, it just like it it took it, that moment just took me a step back really really you just you had to do that like come on we can't be fair and just fight fair or talk fair for like one goddamn episode and not just have like a backup plan like mm, to kind of ruin their image and shit like that i mean it, it, your shit probably doesn't sink too i mean goddamn like mm. there are people who think like oh i have nothing on me like i'm a like I'm a good person. Like, no, 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 that's not always true. Whether it's in real life or in anime, you usually saw, you have something like deep, 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 deep inside of yourself. You may have a really dark secret that either you're keeping from yourself or from others. Well, it could be your secret or somebody else's secret that uh, you're practically possibly a part of. I'm not 100% sure, but I mean, it was a good episode and I, I enjoyed both. It's just, I, I love the fact that, like, Masa's getting more interactions with Tori because of the fact is, like, I, I love the interactions that he has with Horizon, but, like, seeing him and Tori together and them interacting, even with this, the fucking panty shot, like, I couldn't, like, out of the whole thing, I know Tori was like, yes, we need to know now. Like, you can't wait until, like, the last maybe few episodes of the season one to find out, oh, yes, were you actually a woman? Are you still, you know, you, you know do you have your part still or something like that? I understand that, yes, there are some guys out there who really do want to know, especially because of science reasons or whatever. Um, 
What the fuck? I I mean, you know, you could just go on the internet. I mean, well, yeah, y'all ain't got no damn internet. Well, no, kind of. You know, you have internet. That's how you're able to look at different broadcasts and everything. So you got internet. You know, you probably have your own version of YouTube, and you can watch one of those like very interesting educational videos on how um, men transitions to women. But I've never seen it how a woman transitions to a man. That's probably something interesting that should be out there. Because, I mean, they never really, like, I think they've showed it on TV before. I think one day. I don't really remember. But, like, I've seen some things. And I think it's really interesting. Because you, like, you, you kind of want to sit there and I'll be like, okay, so how did that happen? And you're like, well, how do you turn, like, boobs for a female into pecs? Like, uh, it's a lot of questions that I wanted to know and stuff. And even today, because, like, mm. It, science and you, you just like you're, you're curious and you just really want to know so i mean if they ever did that in an anime that would be really good to know more about your body i mean cells at work did what like a great fantastic job on that but just you know what if you want to know of the ins and out of doing surgeries and stuff like that maybe like there should be like a doctor anime just goes into like health and then surgeries and shit like that yeah that's what it, so that we can be more educational on things because you know what the funny thing is between in the world today anime and twitter and tumblr maybe a little bit of youtube and sometimes a little bit of facebook teach you more things than school ever did i mean oh my god but other than that guys that is my reaction to your episode 7 and 8 of horizon in the middle of nowhere if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day Join the Matchless Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for the Patreons, and next Tuesday for everybody else for episodes 9 and 10. Bye, guys!